Yay, the TDU is almost here. Or is it? Well, just wanted to knock out a midweek video to you guys because the TDU is basically almost imminent to happen and in just in a couple of days. So what actually really is going on? You know, are we getting a TDU or are we getting something else? Well, the reality is we're probably getting more of something else. And I think they're referring to it as the festive of cycling or festival of cycling as the actual word because it has limited names actually racing in it. And even my fellow Aussie over there in South Australia, Harley Johnston, he's a bit confused of what it should be called or what the name is. So if he doesn't know, I don't think anyone really knows. But the actual issue that people may not be aware of is Australia has had quite stringent rules here to keep the virus under control. And if people are not aware, some of the states here have had no virus. And actually where I live in WA, we haven't had the virus for, for eight months uh, with a community spread. So, and this is all to do with locking down the borders. So not only are people limited to coming into the country, they're actually limited to travel between state to state and different premiers are actually putting in different rules depending on which states have some community transmission of the virus and which ones don't. So it's quite complex. And we're even having a bit of hoo-ha at the moment with the Australian Open tennis event where some of these tennis players are actually complaining about having to be in their two-week quarantine and are coming up with all sorts of suggestions and how that can be varied. So the governments are having to explain why these have to happen and that they need to conform. So it's a little bit of a circus at the moment. And of course, this sort of carry-on obviously is going to have a major effect on the TDU because we've got cyclists coming from overseas and they've got to be housed for two weeks, they can't train, you know, do they really want to come, you know, can they leave the country, can they even come into the country? And all these sorts of things make it quite complicated. So what we're getting is a bit of a cut down TDU and, and I think the official name is not even Tour Down Under, it's the Festive of Cycling or Festival of Cycling I think is the official name. And there's going to be some limited events happening to appease probably their sponsors and people who've invested in it already. So the 2021 Tour Down Under is not actually going to be a proper Tour Down Under, which is unfortunate. And even if they do have these events and they're happening, even if they've got a couple of big names, people can't travel into state freely to go and actually see the event. So it's only for the people in South Australia who can actually really enjoy it. Well, anyway, guys, I just want to knock out a quick one for you. So you're being kept up to speed with what's happening here in Ausland and what's happening with the so-called TDU or Festival of Cycling or Festive of Cycling and <laughs> what's going on because it hasn't really got a lot of media coverage this event at the moment. I've been even struggling to find information on it. It's, um, it's very thin on the ground. Well, anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it and enjoy your cycling, and hopefully we do get some coverage and get some excitement from the racing that's gonna be happening. Cheers, bye.